Greetings YouTubers, Atari Leaf here with another Closer Look review video. Today I have a Tandy Color computer game called King Cuthbert, released by a company called Microdeal, based out of the UK. They're a software company that specialized in converting American Coco software to work with the Dragon, which was the UK equivalent of the Coco. The company mascot was a kid named Cuthbert who was featured in many of Microdeal's games such as Cuthbert Goes Digging or Cuthbert in Space, which were all basically clones of established games. In this case, King Cuthbert is a clone of Donkey Kong, which was released in North America as Monkey Kong and programmed by Ken Kalish, who created some excellent Coco games. Now, as I mentioned, King Cuthbert is a clone of Donkey Kong. Is he related to Alicia Cuthbert? What? This Cuthbert kid, is he related to Alicia Cuthbert? The actress in The Girl Next Door, the TV show 24. Uh, oh, her? Here's a couple pictures. Oh, yes. Oh, my. She's, uh, she's, uh, pretty nice looking. Oh, my. Okay, well, uh, never mind. Continue with the review. The, the what? Oh, she is very nice. Never mind. Forget I mentioned it. Continue with the review. Uh, no thanks, I'm not hungry, but uh, you, you go ahead and eat, Lawrence. Snap out of it! Ow! Hey, you brought her up! Okay, what was I here for again? Oh yeah, King Cuthbert. Well, it's a basic Donkey Kong clone, which actually reminds me quite a bit of the Atari 2600 version of Donkey Kong. Which in itself isn't necessarily a bad thing, as I quite like the Atari 2600 version as poor of a port as it is. King Cuthbert has very basic graphics and sound, and only two of the four original levels from the arcade version are present, the barrel screen and the rivet screen. This version didn't use the Coco's artifacting color scheme, but this was done on purpose so that it would be in color on European machines, which is why it's this awful green, blue, and red color. As well, it was designed to fit in just 16K, so with those things in mind, it's actually quite a good port. Control is responsive, and I had no problem controlling Mario with either the standard Coco controller or a deluxe joystick. Having said that, there are definitely better Donkey Kong ports on the Coco, such as Donkey King, or the more recent Donkey Kong port by a Coco enthusiast who goes by the screen name of Sockmaster, but you'll need a 512k Coco 3 for that one. King Cuthbert is an okay Donkey Kong clone for the time and circumstances under which it was created, but with the other choices available on the Coco, you may want to give this one a pass in favor of one of the other ports available on the system. Well, that's it for this review. This is Atari Leaf. Thanks for watching and have a great day, everybody. Hey, where are you going in such a hurry? I'm going to go rent the girl next door with Alicia Cuthbert. Well, wait, I'm going to come with you then. Fine. Hey. Did you know she dates Dion Phaneuf, the captain of the Toronto Maple Leafs? Who cares? I hate the Leafs. You're fired. I love the Leafs. Why don't you go make some popcorn? You go make some popcorn. I'm not making popcorn. What do I look like?